Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with exercise 4b of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page 103, and the question is number 4. It reads, a stream flows at 3 meters per second. A canoeist can row at 5 meters per second in still water. How long would it take the canoeist to go 80 meters upstream and back again? If the stream were a still lake, would it take the same time to complete the same journey? Justify your answer. And this one is actually quite straightforward, but it does test your, your understanding of it rather than being able to do it. So we're only working at one dimension because we're working on a stream. So I'm going to say this is the x-axis and we're just using the i-hat unit vector. The next thing I'm going to do is draw in the velocity of the stream. So I'm going to say the stream rows in the plus i-hat direction. So this is vw, we'll say, velocity of the water. The next thing we need to do is analyze what does vab mean again. So mathematically, it's VA minus VB. That's very simple. However, it does mean that B is in a frame of reference where it believes it is stationary. It, it isn't physically moving, uh, it isn't actually stationary, but it believes it's stationary. Because by, uh, by, we'll say, rules made by Einstein, he's allowed to do that. So in how does that fit into what we're given? It fits in because we're said the canoeist can row at 5 meters per second in still water. So where the water is at 0 meters per second or where the water is stationary. So where that fits in here is for B. So I can change B to W and if I change B to W I must change A to the canoeist. And we know that that is equal to 5. Now what that means is it's five units, which means it, there must be a direction on it, right? So I'm going to say its magnitude is five, right? So its magnitude is five. So I haven't given it a direction. So we need to give it a direction. Now, what does this mean? It means the canoeist will set out some in, in a certain direction, either the plus i hat or, plus, or negative i hat direction in, with five units of speed, okay? So that doesn't, uh, does, you know, you have to put a sign onto that. If he's going obviously in the plus i hat, we'll say he sets out with uh, he sets out with f plus five i hat, and if he sets out in the negative i hat direction, he's going at negative five i hat meters per second. Well, that's what he sets out to do. It isn't actually what he will do because, of course, we have a current. So let's just work this out, right? Let's say he's moving in the positive i hat direction. He wants to move with the current first. So the v the velocity of the canoeist minus the velocity of the water, which is plus 3, is if I can remember correctly, yes, plus 3 is equal to plus 5, because I'm saying I'm moving with the current. Therefore, Vc minus 3 is equal to plus 5. Therefore, Vc is equal to 8. Does that make sense? Absolutely, because if you're moving in the same direction as the current, it's going to speed you up. So what time does it take for him to cover 80 meters? Well, he covers 80 meters divided by 8 and he does that in 10 seconds. So let's just apply the exact same logic for going in the opposite direction. So this time the canoeist sets out in that direction. So this time it's negative 5 for VCW because he's setting out like that. So you get VC minus, now the water's direction hasn't changed, it is still plus 3. So Vc minus 3 is equal to minus 5. Vc is equal to negative 2. And does that make sense? Well, yes, it does, because this time his speed is being reduced because it's now just at 2 meters per second, and its direction is the, is the correct way because it's going against the current. So this time, 80 meters, or in two, divided by 2 meters per second, he does that in 40 seconds. So the total time is equal to T1 plus T2 is equal to 40 plus 10 equals 50. That's correct. The final piece we have to do is work out whether or not doing it in still water would be quicker, the same speed, or slower. So this time he's going to do, uh, he's going to go at 5 meters per second. He's going to travel 80 meters one way and 80 meters the second way. However, because there's no current, it doesn't matter about the, so you can just add the, add the distance, so you get 160 over 5, he does it in 32 seconds. So you can see, of course, that doing it in still water is not the same as doing it in a current. So that was pretty straightforward.
Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.